Hey fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're here in Vicenza, Italy, staying at a really nice Airbnb right here, the Piazza Signore. It is such a great place to be and it got me noticing a few things that have kind of become consistent in Airbnbs um, that I've seen throughout Europe and this is more for US travelers coming to Europe or Canadian travelers, Australian travelers, New Zealand travelers, Latin American travelers. If you're coming to Europe, there's a few things you're going to see quite often popping up again and again and again at an Airbnb in Europe. So here's what I have are my five things that I noticed that keep popping up. First thing that always pops up, Ikea furniture. Ikea is the go-to place for furniture for Airbnbs, which is cool because you know Ikea's got like that cool design. You feel like you're in like a hip modern place when you're staying there, which is really cool. But it does get kind of funny when you're using the same plates, whether you're in Sweden or you're in Spain or you're in Vicenza. I'm like, huh, I think I've had this pattern before, which I guess gives you a little, a little homey feel to it. But it is kind of funny that it, that is kind of the go-to thing because they are relatively affordable. They're relatively easy to come by because there's a lot of Ikeas all over Europe, so that's a nice thing there. But I will say though, one of the things you will notice with Ikea furniture in these Airbnbs is they're built for domestic use. They're not built for hotel use. I mean, a hotel bed is made for a hotel, for people jumping up and down on the beds and stuff like that, and, and people doing things that people do in hotels. So they're made for that. Whereas Ikea furniture, it's made for domestic living. So it's made for more normal living. So it doesn't always hold up as well. So you might notice that, huh, these chairs seem a little bit flimsy this bed it's a slap bed if I if I get too crazy on here it's gonna snap because I know there's travelers I have a friend of mine every hotel she goes to she jumps on the bed just to get a picture like that I'm like Elaine you can't do that on Airbnb it's okay here in Europe because a lot of times the beds can't handle it or if you're a husky guy like me sometimes you need to be a little bit careful getting in the beds or if you're an amorous couple you know you might want to be careful okay so do have a heads up for that but IKEA furniture is something you're gonna see again and again and again and again and again okay now the second thing you'll also get when you go to a Airbnb in Europe is you will get a drying rack which means yes most of the time I mean I'll be honest 100% of the time when I've had an Airbnb here in Europe when I've got a whole house to myself I've had a washing machine in there no problem of course we always look to make sure we have one one of the great benefits of having an Airbnb is you can do your laundry and so that is cool but in Europe dryers are not a thing drying racks are a thing so just realize if you're thinking oh we're just gonna do a bunch of laundry when we get there and it'll be done in the same day because we'll wash and dry and be done realize that's not gonna be the case you can wash it okay and we have a whole thing about washing clothes in Europe and washing clothes when you travel but the thing is is it's gonna be a drying rack right, where you're gonna dry stuff so it's gonna take some time so you're not necessarily gonna get your stuff done right away unless you're here in Vicenza in June when it's like you know 35 degrees Celsius in the 90s in Fahrenheit where things you know dry relatively quickly the third thing you'll get when you go to an Airbnb in Europe is a interesting combination of keys yes I mean I've seen keys like this at home no problem but have you ever seen a key like this or a key like this look you're gonna get a bunch of different keys because most of the time when you come to Airbnbs they're gonna be in apartments because you want to stay in the center of the city and, and enjoy beautiful views like this where I can go out and eat and have a drink having a spritz apero with my friends yeah it's really cool but the thing is the keys you'll have think about it you have a key that opens up the like the entryway into the apartment building right then you have the key that opens your apartment door and you might have another key that unlocks the deadbolt then you might have a key for a washroom you might have a key for the garage or where you put the garbage so you tend to have quite a collection of keys I know yesterday we were in Gardenland and I had that set of keys with me everywhere we went, which wasn't super comfortable, but it's just the way it is. So be ready for that one. Another thing you'll have in a lot of the hotels you go to is some interesting opening windows. Now, for those of you who don't know, in the US, we have like crank windows or you actually unlock it and lift it up yourself. So that's how our windows are kind of set. And there's usually almost always screens to keep bugs out and stuff like that. Well, here in Europe, you do not have the bug screens, okay? You might have the bugs, but you don't have the screens. But the windows, I can't tell you how many times I've had tour groups I've been with here, student groups I've been here with, and they're like, Mark, I can't figure out the window and the window's all wonky and stuff like that. Realize when you go here, when the handle's all the way down, it's shut. When it goes to the middle, then you can pull it all the way out like a door. Then you turn it all the way up, then it kind of cracks back so you can let some air in. So make sure you know that, okay? Because I've had many tours going, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, what's going on? And so do know that. Also, if you have little kids, realize those windows open all the way, and so you might have something way up high and it'll open straight out. Okay, so if you got little ones, you do want to be careful with that because I can't lie to you. I've had to yell at my kids, hey, get away from the window, you know, because you want to be careful. But also, what goes along with that is things you won't see 
like sometimes you will have a air conditioner okay i'm not gonna lie to you that especially a lot of airbnbs in like greece and here in italy they do have that because in the summer it does get hot but you might not always have it and one thing you don't see too much of are fans so like ceiling fans and stuff like that you probably won't see so just be ready for that so you might want to check and look and see what your airbnb has for you to help you cool off if you're going to be here in the 95 degree summer of italy yeah maybe a little ac or at least a fan might be a little bit more helpful okay and then the last thing you're going to have at your airbnb here in europe is little space look these cities it's it's not like in the us or canada or australia we have so much room we can spread out and have big rooms and big houses and stuff like this we're all in the center of these historic cities so you have small apartments with small bathrooms with you know small living spaces so it is a lot smaller now don't get me wrong an airbnb is way better than a hotel because you get like a living room and extra space and stuff like that which is awesome but just realize when you're packing you're not going to have a whole house to yourself you have an apartment but it's a smaller apartment so pack lighter when you are here also realize you're probably not going to have two or three bathrooms or two or three showers when you're there most places Places, it's one toilet and one shower so be prepared for that if you're coming with a group you might have to figure out who's, who's gonna shower at night and who showers in the morning and that also means you really need to pay attention when you book your Airbnb is that when it says hey it's a max of six people it really is a max of six people I know I've gone to a lot of Airbnbs in the US and Canada and other places and they're like yeah it sleeps four but you can actually put in like ten people oh no here if it says it sleeps four yeah it's going to sleep for and probably going to be on a sleep on pull out bed or something like that from ikea anyway those are just five little things i've noticed over the years of using airbnbs or apartment rentals in europe it's nothing bad i mean i highly recommend them i know there are some drawbacks to using airbnbs in terms of you know what if i want to get there earlier if i want to leave my bags also the ramifications in cities like amsterdam and lisbon where airbnbs have really taken a lot of the apartments of the locals so there's some really some things you've got to think about when you do stay at an airbnb but I hope these gave you some like fun things to notice about all the ones you go to. What are some things you found at your Airbnbs here in Europe or other places around the world that make you go, hmm, that's interesting. I mean, I've had a few people contact us about the extra the extra camera in the rooms and stuff like that. So do be careful with those as well. You're like, huh, there's multiple red lights in this room. There should be one on the fire extinguisher or the fire detector. Like what's going on, or the smoke alarm. What's going on here? So always have your eyes open. Anyway, I wish you a great time here in Europe, wherever you're gonna stay. Vicenza is a fantastic place to go. I love being here, but I love Italy more than anything. So I could be a bit biased. Anyway, have a great time traveling. If you wanna learn more, hit that subscribe button. And we put out new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday to help travelers like you fellow travelers like yourself with honest travel advice to help you get the most out of your travels anyway we'll say thank you and bye from here in Vicenza and a special thank you to all of our patrons on patreon who make videos like this possible we really appreciate your support and if you want to find out how you can support us go to patreon.com slash Walters world to find out how we'll say bye from Vicenza